from Swiss Watch Expo. Spotlight on, five things to know about Omega. What makes the brand so significant? The first watch on the moon, the timepiece of James Bond, the only brand to truly compete with Rolex's popularity. These are the first things that come to mind at the mention of Omega. Founded in 1848, Omega is one of the most recognized brands in the world today. While the brand itself and its iconic watches almost need no introduction, there is so much more to Omega's history. Here are five things to know about Omega. Subscribe to our channel to get updates on new videos. Omega has been the official timekeeper of the Olympic Games since 1932. Omega's history with the Olympics began in 1931 when it set precision records at the Geneva Observatory. The Omega chronometer kept time more accurately than any other watch produced before, and this caught the attention of the Olympic Committee. Omega became the official timekeeper of the Olympics beginning in 1932, and the partnership remains intact to this day. Omega's unprecedented precision was not only crucial in accurately recording the games, but also in developing vital equipment that athletes rely on. Omega was the only watch brand to pass NASA's rigorous tests in the 1960s. In the early 1960s, NASA launched the Apollo program with the mission to land humans on the moon and bring them back to Earth safely. By 1964, NASA began its search for a reliable timepiece to serve as the official watch of the program. The NASA watch trials were essentially a series of torture tests for the watches. They were put through extreme conditions, such as high temperatures, volatile fluctuations, and high pressure levels. In the end, only the Omega Speedmaster passed the hurdles. It would go on to be the first watch on the moon during the 1969 Apollo 11 mission. Omega was also present during pivotal moments in human exploration. An Omega watch accompanied man in pioneer expeditions to both ends of the planet, the North Pole and the South Pole. In April 1968, American explorer Raf Plasted led the first surface expedition to the North Pole. With three other brave men, he made the 412-mile trek using only a sextant and an Omega Speedmaster to calculate the exact position. In February 1990, on the other end of the world, Arved Fuchs and Reinhold Messner crossed Antarctica on foot to reach the South Pole. Enduring temperatures of negative 40 degrees and a 90-day journey, the duo was the first to make it to the South Pole with neither animal nor motorized help. They used an Omega Speedmaster as their timekeeper during the mission. Omega made watch history by commercializing the coaxial escapement. When Omega launched its coaxial caliber 2500 in 1999, the entire watch world stood at attention. Invented by English watchmaker George Daniels in 1976, the coaxial is a modern watch escapement that solves the issue of friction and stability, both common problems in the traditional lever escapement. Despite its ingenuity, getting it into production wasn't easy, and it was Omega who took on the challenge. Omega has since incorporated the coaxial escapement into most of its timepieces. Omega conquered magnetism with its 15,000 Gauss watch. Magnetic fields constantly pose a threat to watch movements, and almost every watch company has an anti-magnetic watch with resistance to 1,000 Gauss being the standard. In 2013, 
Omega came out with a very unconventional solution to this problem. The company designed a new movement, in which the components were made of non-ferrous metals, providing far greater resistance to magnetic fields. The technology employed in the 15,000 Gauss watch has been deployed in all in-house Omega movements beginning 2017. More than 170 years on, Omega continues to push the boundaries of watchmaking. Want to learn more about Omega watches? Click on the upper right screen for our Omega watches playlist. Don't miss out, we launch two videos weekly on the best and the latest in watches. To get updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel.